Big Gamer guys, my name is Gamer Boy, and today's game we're playing is called Little Big Planet 2. And I'm gonna need to do the flight of the bumblebee, and I'm gonna guess that the um next level is gonna be the final level. I'm not really sure, but that's what it seems like, so I'm gonna waste no time and enter this level just because I am curious. Like, is this the final two levels and I'm about to beat the game because I've never really defeated or beat this game, and I am very curious, like, what's gonna happen, and, oh. And of course, so I'm gonna have to go and do the bumblebee thing, where basically I'm gonna have to go forward and everything. That is something that I am doing, and it's not just gonna make me go forward of course okay first of all okay need to remember what I need to do because I haven't used the bumblebee in a while so I'm needing to remember what I need to do yeah yeah of course so that that's not gonna be good grab whatever I need to be so it's gonna be like flappy bird and everything before flappy bird was a thing at the at the time yeah, before Flappy Bird was a thing, this was a thing, and all that. I wonder if this was the place where they got the idea for Flappy Bird or what. Huh? Really? Why? Why so complicated? Why do you have to be so complicated and do all of this? Come on, I'm doing it the way that I'm... Okay, I'm not able to hit any of these creatures because of how much I have to be dodging and like they leave me no room to dodge so it's like I have to do it immediately as soon as I see the thing and it's not like it's possible to do that but moving forward is a very good thing because if I die too much then I'm not gonna be doing this well and that means that I'm gonna have can can, can I fire the my weapon or what like, it seems like I'm right up against it, and it's not firing. Not exactly what I would like for this, but... Whatever I have to do, because apparently I do. Okay, so I can fire with the, um... With my laser thing, and I'm able to get the bubble. Okay. Next area? Of course. Just really glad that I, uh... Of course this is a thing. Yes, death was inevitable because why not? Why not have it inevitable for an area where I keep going forward? As long as I go forward enough, that's gonna be helpful because that is something this game just loves making you have to go fast when and think like, like you don't have time to think and everything like you have little time to do stuff and that's basically a lot of this game and you can do that but I can't that, that kind of sucks okay can I do this well this game just still okay this game does not like when it doesn't you don't when you don't do it the way that the game wants you to do it then it it does not want to work well with you I'm glad that I'm able... Excuse me, I'm... Tr Why? Why does it want to do this? It purposely got me trapped, and I had no choice. So if it was blinking red, I would have had to reset without even any, like, warning because of... Oh. Okay, so I see what this area is. I see what this area is. Duh. Can I not have this happen? Can I just hit or do something that's positive here? Because that would be very good. Don't want to keep dying and having to reset the area. And that's what it feels like. Okay, so it's not going to blink red right now, but it's going to blink red because I... Thank you. New area or thank you. Yeah, I really don't like areas like this in this game just because they're not really, like, 
polished, polished, but they are polished to enough to where you are able to do it at least. And that, that's good, but, uh Sort of figured that this was gonna be the final boss and did not realize that I was gonna do this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this well and I'm gonna have to play with mechanics that I can't do that. Obviously can't do that. So if I can, I would like to go up and try to defeat as much as I can with this final boss. Ah, good lord. Do not want to have to restart at all. Go up. If I can, please thank you. Now I just keep doing that, I guess. Or try not to run into the laser, and then I think I should have it. Now, by... Uh, really? You're just going to go faster? Okay, can can I or is this gonna be now that one was my fault. If I have to reset because of my own stupidity, then then I will. Do I get a checkpoint or what? Yeah, I really hope I get a checkpoint at some point because I don't want to have to reset. And that's what it feels like I'm going to be doing if... Okay, good. Thank you. And this is going to go up. And, uh... Okay, so it's going to be one of these types of things. So, I, it, so it's like doodle jump and everything. Where basically, I'm going to have to just go up. Really like not dying here. Oh. Duh. To really pay attention to what I am needing to do here. I need to not just do what I think I need to do. And I need to do what the game is actually telling me I would like to do to do this. And. Yeah. I don't like that. You. That was easier the second time, the third time, yeah, third time, because 
I had to do it three times to be able to do it. If I can just do that multiple... Can I not? Yeah, I'm gonna have to reset this if I fail one more time. Now that I know what I'm supposed to be doing, this is not that hard. It just takes a little bit to learn, and then the moment that you do learn what you need to do, it becomes a lot easier, and I'm glad about that part. I'm glad that it is a lot easier when you learn, because I was having a tr troubling time doing this, and I'm glad that I'm at least doing it somewhat well enough to where I don't have to reset or restart. Get me up here. Thank you. Did not want to have to reset that. Did not want to have to reset that. Or miss a phase and then I have to redo it. Would just like to do this as many times as it says I have to and then that would be good in my favor. And last one. I really hope that was last and thank you. It was. Now, oh, I just fall. Oh, it just kind of forcibly bounced me. And this one is the actual area boss, or what? What do I do? Is it gonna... It never once told me. So, I really hope that... Okay, it's not telling me. Oh, so I have to dodge a really long attack sequence, or I'm not going to be able to do this, apparently. Of course. One down. Now, one more to go. Yeah, I, I... It never once told me what I needed to do, so doing this was going to be impossible because it never once told me. How many hits does this creature need to be taken because I'm doing this as best as I can and I don't want to have to reset any of this I don't know if it's like red ring or what on the like portal to come back but I am concentrating really hard and I'm trying not to go and like have to restart I'm trying really hard not to restart but it's not the easiest it's like becoming very hard to not reset thank you that was hard, and I hope I defeated the creature. I really, really hope. Did I do it? Of course not. Okay, come down. Come on, come on. And I think I did it. That was hard. Like, harder than I expected. But if that was the final boss, I'm glad that I did it. And I'm glad that I don't have to do that again. And thank you. Story mode is complete, and I don't ever have to do that again unless I want to. Well, we did it. Or should I say, you did it, sack thing. Slick, you rescued me, and you saved Craft World. You did, and it all came together through teamwork. Come on, chaps, let's go home. I was eating a custard cream, you know, and it bloomed into the perfect laugh of a baby. From one to another. <laughs> Do not take lightly your hopes, your ideas. Fantasies. Let them grow. Nurture them. Then your wildest imaginings will soon trip the dream fantastic. 
soaring into the wonder plane and spreading into something altogether magnificent. And perhaps you'll see them again the next time you visit Little Big Planet. I didn't expect that to be the ending. I did not expect that to be the ending, but I am very glad that it was just because that was a really satisfying ending for this game. Like, it's a really, really good, satisfying ending where you defeat the boss, do what you need to do, and it still goes and says, continue playing the game just in now in creator mode. And that's really, really cool. I like how the Little Big Planet games end with saying, go into creative mode now. You have objects and things that you can now create with and let your imagination grow and that's really really cool and i do like the little big planet series little big planet one and two and three and four if there is ever a fourth game m meaning like sack boy big adventure they all build off of each other and i'm really glad about that because little big planet one is okay but little big planet two is better but 3 is better than 2, and then Sackboy A Big Adventure is better than the third game. And that's really, really cool that each game does that, because it, yes, that's how games are supposed to be, but in this game, I'm glad that they don't take away from what the previous game did, and they just add upon it, and that's really, really cool. But I want to see what happens at the end. Like, let's skip and let's see what's at the end area, because I really wonder, like, what's at the end? Do I get anything special? Do I unlock anything special? Or, like, what? Okay, so it's just unlocking that, and I can do all of these extra stuff. I wanted to do those extra stuff and everything, but I am currently not going to do that, just because I want to just go into Little Big Planet 1 and see how that game is, even though I'm going to have to have no cutscenes, and there's a little... There's less of what this game has in Little Big Planet 1 just because it is the first game in the series, so that is a thing, but I had a lot of fun with this. I had a lot of fun with the story. I wish I completed it when I first played this game back when I was a kid, but I didn't. I don't know why, but I didn't, but I can't wait for Little Big Planet 1, and I am just gonna leave this here, and I'm gonna leave this episode and game of Little Big Planet 2 here, and I am just going to go. See ya! If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy the subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next video.